Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem where we have a system of equations, two rules, two uh, lines, and we're going to figure out where they cross, where they intersect, graph them, and go through that process. And then as well, utilize the equal values method uh, to show you how to find the solution as well. Okay, so this is from CPM's course three. And this is section 5.2.3, specifically number 5-48. So it says graph the lines. So you have two lines. I'm going to graph this one here and that one there. So this is y. So we have y equals 2x minus 3. And then y equals negative x plus 3. So um, keep in mind, they're, they both are in the form of y equals mx plus b. That helps us out because... What does that show us? B is the y-intercept, right? Meaning it, it it's where it crosses the y-axis, right? So this axis right here is the y-axis, the vertical axis. The horizontal axis is the x-axis. So B, whatever number it, that is, tells me where it crosses the y-axis. And then this M, the number, the coefficient of that x, the coefficient in front of the x is always the slope, or we also know as the growth rate. So it kind of gives me a sense of how uh, that line is growing from point to point, how I can go from point to point. So I'm going to use this one here first. So y equals 2x minus 3. So that means my y-intercept, my b, is minus, right, negative 3, right? So if I want to look at it and have it in this form, and remember it needs to be a plus, but that would make that a negative 3. So I put that negative 3 in. On my y, let's see, so this is my y-axis, so it's 0, negative 3, so 1, 2, 3 down. So right there is where y is negative 3. That's going to be the y-intercept. And then from there, now I use my slope, my growth, to find the next point, right? The growth is positive. That means it goes up 2 and then over 1, right? It's growing by 2 each, each time, each 1. Up 2, 1, 2, over 1. So I'm putting these points on the lattice uh, points here where they belong for that line okay so i've got a nice you can see the it's a linear pattern right and so if i wanted to also go the other direction uh, i can just go in reverse which would be down to and, and negative one right so over the other direction to kind of continue that linear pattern right so once i have enough points i then want to show all the solutions which would mean a solid line right so to show all the solutions to an equation with y and x you all these ordered pairs is why we graph that line because there's possibly some decimal and fraction values in between each of those integer values and then i'll name it always name your line so you know which one is which this one's y is equal to 2x minus 3 so i name my line so there's that one the next one is y is equal to negative x plus 3. So what does that mean? That means I'm going to start, again, my y-intercept is plus 3. So this time I start at the positive 3, which is right there. So that's my y-axis, or excuse me, my y-intercept for this equation. Okay, And then negative 1 is, or negative x, right? So my m is negative, which, what does that mean? It really, I'm going to rewrite this. It's actually y is equal to negative 1x plus 3. When you have just a negative in front of the, um, the, as a coefficient in front of the, the variable, it's really a negative one, right? There's always that uh, invisible one that's there. So that means from there, I'm going to go, I'm decreasing. So I go down one over one, right? So I'm my line should be decreasing. It's going down one over one, down one over one, down one over one, down one over one. So this is the pattern of that line. Once I have enough points, I could take my ruler and make sure I'm nice and lined up because I want to see where that intersection point is. So I want to make sure that I have that. And we kind of saw it as I was building my points. You saw that I landed on this one right here as at the same time it was on this one. So there, right there is my intersection point. Oh, let me uh, label my line first. Y is equal to negative X plus three. Label your lines so that way you know which one is which arrows on your lines use up the graph make it look nice so then now i want to find out where they intersect and label that point on my graph so where is this right so if i look we always we always label points points are always x comma y correct x comma y so i'm going to label my x first my x value is 2 
and I use parentheses. So it's parentheses x comma y. So I am at two for the x and I'm at right here at one for the y. So that's that intersection point. They intersect at two comma one. Okay. The x is two, the y is one. So that's finding that by graphing. There's also this method of equal values method that we I want to show you. And the equal values method is basically saying, let's use some algebra. We, we know that we're looking for the place that both y's are the same, right? I, wanted, I want to find the place on my graph and in the equations where both y's are the same. So what I do is I set them equal to each other, right? I say, well, where is y equal to y? Oh, well, this y is equal to that expression, that 2x plus, actually 2x minus 3, but I'll just go ahead and say plus negative 3. Same thing. So 2x plus negative 3, that y is equal to that. And this y over here is equal to negative x plus 3, correct? So what, I'm, what I, what I want to find out is where are those two expressions equal? Because that's what I want. I want those y's to be equal. So I set them equal to each other, and then I solve for x. So this is solving an equation like we've been, right? Get all the x's on one side, all the numbers on the other side. So I'm going to add x to make sure that this one goes away from this side, add it to this side. And then as well, at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and get my numbers over here, which means get rid of it from here. So I'm going to add 3 because it's a negative 3 to make that go away and add 3 on this side. So what do I have? So I have 2x plus 1x, right? Remember, that's a 1x is 3x. So that becomes 3x is equal to, and then 3 plus 3 is 6. And then the last step normally is we divide by the coefficient. So you divide both sides by 3. And there, therefore, there you are. x is equal to 2. So where are these two equal, these equations equal? They're equal at x equals 2, which it's confirming that was our intersection point. So then how do you find the y value? Well, then once you know your x value, you plug that y value back into those equations. So I'm going to use this one, y is equal to 2x minus 3, and I'm plugging that x back into one of those equations. So it's y is going to equal to 2 times 2 minus 3 right? And which is four minus three, which is one. So there we have it. When X equals two, Y equals one. And I could have used the other equation as well. If I would have plugged it into this one, negative two plus three, well, negative two plus three is also one. So either way, I would have got the same Y as one, which is what I needed is where are those Y's equal? So this also, here you have your two, your X and your Y, and you still would write it like a intersection point, right? So your X and your y based on using that equal values method. Okay, there you go.